On this bubble page, I've designed a note system for my books. So the first thing that I'm going to see here is a list of all of my books, and I can easily tell which books have a note versus which ones don't because of the way that I've designed the icon here. So there's a conditional statement on this that tells me, hey, you have at least one note associated um, with this book. And so if I click on it, I'm going to now see all of the notes, could be one, could be multiple, that are tied to this book. Notice that I am uh, keeping track of which book I've selected here. It's going to give me a quick count. I have the ability to add a new note. And down below, I have a list of all of my existing notes. This is fantastic for personal record keeping. Um, this is something that you can expand to kind of a collaboration setting. So you can either uh, leave notes to be visible only to the creator of the note, or they can be shared. If people are part of a team, as long as they belong to the team, they can see any notes owned by that team, right? Lots of ways to do that kind of access. But the main takeaway here is that there is a relationship between a book and one or more notes. And then in the design, you can make it easy for the user to contribute further to um, the, the list of notes. So for example, I'm going to say here, um, I really enjoyed uh, reading this book. Now I'm using a plugin that Bubble has called the Rich Text Editor. Um, there are other inputs that are more plain text where you don't have to have all of this formatting here. But for a system like this, I think it's really convenient to offer the user some formatting uh, capabilities. Uh, it, it, you know, it can really help them organize notes, especially if we're expecting them to type in maybe multiple paragraphs, bullet lists, things like that. So I'll type in my content. I'll click on add note and you can see my new note has been added to the list. I can edit an existing note. So here is an example of some formatting changes here. Um, because I'm editing an existing note, my button changes to say save note as opposed to add a new note, right? So I can say um, within this existing note, uh, edit, I'm making a change, right? Maybe we'll put that in bold there and I will save that note. You see how everything clears out for me. If I want to go into this note here, I don't need to change anything, discard changes, it returns me back, it doesn't change the note. Go back to this one here, I can see that my edit is still there. I can also remove my notes, I'll click on this button and it just deletes the record. And for any books that don't have any notes, right, we see the same interface except there's no list down there yet because we don't have any notes yet. So here's another book with one note, here's another book with one note. Okay, so I'm just passing data from the left side over to the right side so that we can see um, the, the, the information that's actually associated with what I've chosen.